Jim Meany, owner of Cancelair Incorporated, has invented a technology that reuses aluminum cans as core heating elements in solar panels. Well, the panel is basically uh, made out of powder-coated galvalume and uh, UV-stabilized polycarbonate, which is the, the lens, lens area. And what happens is the sun shines through this clear lens and uh, hits the black uh, aluminum. And we, we have these 240 pop cans uh, modified in such a way as to cause the air to spin through them. And so centrifugal force comes into play and it sort of separates the relatively heavier, colder air out of the rising column of air. The air is pumped in from the house uh, into the bottom header, goes up through the, uh, the core and then back into the house again. What gave you the idea to use pop cans? Well, uh, they're aluminum. They have an excellent heat transfer capability and uh, it's virtu virtually instant. If you were to, say, put one under a, a stream of hot water, you'd feel the heat just like that. And the same way is, is true with the, the heat from the sun. The cans come in from the multi-material stewardship board detab them like that and uh, put them in flats. Every 10 of these now is, is, a, is, a, is a panel core. We have a, a drill that cuts tops and a drill that cuts bottoms. And out here we have the, uh, the, the, the trays you know, of cans that are now ready to go to the soaking room. We soak them for about uh, 24 hours, which uh, prepares them for washing. And we wash them in hot soapy water sunlight liquid of course. Then uh, we rinse them and we rack them to dry. And uh, there's 16 tubes per, per panel core. The, the work that goes into uh, preparing them for painting is about the same thing as you'd have for preparing a car. And the, the, the paint we use is high sorb 2 salt coat select coat. It's good for 35 years exposed to the elements. Uh, in this case it's under a UV stabilized lens. It's in out of the weather. So it should last you for several lifetimes. All you need is a, a, a wall that's either southeast, southwest, or south-facing. If you got that, you're away to the races. You've got a furnace. Uh, the blower assembly is mounted about an inch above your baseboard, which is where the colder, heavier air gets sucked out. And it's uh, pulled out of your house at the rate of about 100 cubic feet a minute and returned back into a dryer vent near the, near the ceiling. Uh, about 50 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than what, what it went out. So. And it's like taking the bottom card off a deck until the top card comes down, hits the bottom, it destratifies and filters the air in your house. It's automatic, like whatever heating system you happen to have, whether it's oil, geothermal, uh, wood, electric, it automatically shuts it down by virtue of maintaining the room temperature. It'll flatline the room temperature plus or minus one degree, so your, your thermostat doesn't cut in your furnace. And it's virtually maintenance free. There's no fuel, there's no maintenance, there's no insurance for maintenance or parts or anything. It's, it's just a lifetime supply of free heat, so it's not eating any bread. Once you buy it, it's, it pays for itself. We can finance these things now for, well, the heat that comes out of it would probably be 15 or 20 percent less than what you're currently paying your utility, utility for it. Plus, uh, you know, with the voucher kits and that, you're actually getting paid to use it, you're getting paid to go green, and, uh, and, and by passing it on to other people, you're helping the planet to go green. So this is the Cancel Air 240 Solar Max demonstration unit. Today is the 10th, or excuse me, the 11th of December 2009, and we've got pretty much full sun here. It's about uh, a little after 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just going to run some tests. I have not even turned on the demonstration unit yet. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on right now. Um, I'll give you some temperature readings here. The air we have going in there is uh, 17 degrees. 17.8 degrees Fahrenheit, and right now it is a, just a reading of about 77 degrees right there. I'm going to go ahead and switch it on. You can see that there's no air coming out of it right now. I'll go ahead and switch the unit on here. And there we got our battery back up, and that kicks on the blower, which draws the air in there. And then it starts to blow out right there. And you're going to see what I'm doing here is I'm going to show you a full test. We will go ahead and turn the unit on, and then we get a temperature rise. It does a peak temperature and then it comes back down to a sustained temperature. So I'm just going to take a little video here and show you what we get out of this right now. It's, uh, again, it's at 17.8 degrees going in. And uh, now we're up here 
you can see it climbing. It's up there uh, 150. We got up to 167 earlier today. That's really nice air. I mean, it's it's coming out nice and nice and toasty warm. There we go. We're at one uh, almost 160 now. Let's see where she goes. That looks like about it right there. 159. Now I shall probably start cooling down from that point on. And then they'll take it, and then I run it for 20 minutes until she cools, and then we get our readings. We got 18 degrees in there, and then and now she's starting to trickle down off of 159. So that's a test on the Cancel Air 240 Solar Max with an outdoor temperature going in of 17 degrees Fahrenheit or thereabouts, and the temperature coming out almost hit 160. And again, this is a demonstration on the 11th of December. 2009. Uh, this video will, will be being played at the uh, Green Show in Chicago as uh, a demonstration. Thank you for watching.